Pieken wir uns jetzt einfach rein. Ja. So ein Ding hältst du vorne jetzt auch schon mal. Und wie, wenn ich zum ersten Mal hier bin? Du musst dich vormelden. Wie kann man sich vorher melden? Ja, online. Nur online, oder? Wo sind wir? Was machen wir Schönes? Im Innenhof. Richtig. Im Wunderschönen. Nicht sprechen, nicht rauchen, 10 km/h fahren. Da darf man gar nichts machen. Da, der Mann kommt gleich, der haut dich tot. Dreh dich um. Ich habe ganz vergessen, dass das für dich die Premiere im Bunker ist. Da hinten, wo der große Container ist, da ist er. Schön. <lacht> Warum bleibst du so? <lacht> There he is! <lacht> Looking good, Stefan. Nice shirt. Thank you! <lacht> There we are. Berlin. How is the Berlin trip so far? It's been good actually. This place is very nice. It's uh, literally three steps outside of the bunker. <laughs> so being very close to the gym is also very nice. And uh, it's a nice apartment. It's everything you need. It's small but cozy. I even did my laundry here, so you can no. pretty yeah, you can pretty much live here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's nice. I've also been walking around all over, and Berlin has a nice atmosphere with with the people. So you never feel. You know, if you walk outside and you're all alone, something is boring, but now you're distracted by all the interesting kind of people that you, <laughs> that you meet. So it's been fun for sure, yeah. We just wanted to show... Uh... Yeah, the last one. Yeah, the last one. Who's the last one? You. Yeah, but has she been able to do it? The Yeah. What do you think about the bunker? It's a nice gym. I've trained here now tw well, twice for real. And last year I trained here once as well, but they've got all the old school machines. But it's not always about the machine, it's also about the atmosphere. And it's great. I mean, uh, you see it for yourself. Uh, no matter where you look, you see all those pictures, automatic motivation, like when you're doing a movement and you open your eyes, you look at somebody that you look up to on the, on the, on the wall. And uh, it's a great atmosphere here. You know that the owner and the people responsible for this gym put a lot of effort into making it feel like old school, hardcore, whatever you want to call it. But you can get great workouts in here for sure. A lot of variation and uh, yeah, I've done back and chest here and uh, <coughs> leg is up next. So then we put it to the true test, but I think it's going to be all right, yeah. What do you think about Gunther Schlierkamp? He's one of the bigger like, guys from the 2000s. And the nice thing is, of course, everybody knows him for beating Ronnie Coleman during his reign at one of the shows. And that's when 2003 happened and <laughs> Ronnie Coleman was unbeatable again. But uh, he has a great like um, charisma and uh, personality and a dominance on stage that nowadays you don't really see anymore. And whenever you look back at those uh, old videos like the Road to Olympia and you see him training or you see the old Olympia footage, he's pretty unique in, uh, in his looks and what he does. Even I think today still he uh, looks pretty good and still represents uh, that that generation of bodybuilders very well. So I think he's a great example of what a good open bodybuilder could be. Wie findest du Günther? Wie hast du ihn wahrgenommen? Ich immer mein Lieblingsdeutscher. Hm? So und vor allem äh, die Tatsache mit äh, oh. Night of the Champions war das glaube ich, oder? Hm. Äh, wie Ronnie wird geschlagen wird in einer unglaublichen... Ne, Night of the Champions war das nicht. War, war das nicht Night of the Champions? GNC hm. ist so, Show of Strength, ja, genau. Ja. Ähm, Unglaublich cool, so wie Wesley auch sagt, total geile Ausstrahlung, super positiv. Ähm, ich habe ihn großartig gefunden. Also wirklich, wirklich großartig. Fassen wir kurz die Fakten zusammen. Fakten zusammenfassen? Mhm. Ähm, wir haben ja in einem anderen Video schon erfolgreich gezählt. Das sind was? 19 Tage äh, bis zu Arnold? 
Ähm, spannend, spannend, spannend. Ähm, und es ist Zeit jetzt, über Wessel drüber zu schauen. Ähm, wieder irrsinnig smoothe Prep, äh, bis jetzt alles rennt so, wie es sein soll. Ähm, wieder kleine Detailverbesserungen, wie, wie jedes Mal immer einen Schritt nach vorne, Beine von vorne, gibt es ja gar nichts mehr auszusetzen. Aber auch beim Bizeps ähm, Gluteus hat ein bisschen mehr Density gekriegt, auch noch immer nicht so, wie es ähm, im Endeffekt sein soll, aber wieder ein Schritt in die richtige Richtung. Ähm, und wir wissen das auch gekonnt in Szene zu setzen und werden schauen, dass, wir, dass die Leute wieder sagen, ah, Wesley hat einen schönen Schritt nach vorne gemacht und klopft an die Tür ähm, der Top 3. You would think, okay, they added classic pose, but they removed most muscular, so it's yeah, not like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's the only thing uh, they should do. Let's go to side chest. these people also that they also like to see like this one you need to if you do that one you need to be open here you are not allowed to um yeah so sure. yes and um dangerous we need to, to do let's let's give the hand here yeah uh, about here and go into the vacuum because I need to see yes and now go into the post. Don't be in that anger. Totally go into the vacuum. You need to yeah. inhale totally. Right? Yeah. Yes, like that. How do you think we have to balance out? The legs need to be a little bit wider, get more tension here uh -huh. and standing leg. Try once again. Size from the side. 
Yeah. If you have your hand here, you are hiding the strongest point of that. You know? So the hand needs somewhere yeah. here yeah. to to see um, that the vacuum reduces the waste to uh -huh. to, to that size. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Especially legs from the side and from the back got better again. But also the posing, you used much more of your adductor to pose and yeah. to present more width. It's um, also from the back pose. Very good. I get more confident um, doing that because the legs are getting better and better. So you know you, you, you feel more confident in putting them in different positions to make them because they then still look good. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, I had to always put in in the same position because otherwise they would lose like a sweep or a mass or something. But now you can play around a bit more. So, yeah. The only mistake now which you could make is that your stand is too narrow. Too narrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to balance out how far you can stand it before it, yeah. before it gets the gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there is so much size dominant because of the structure of the clavicles yeah. that when you stand too narrow you're flattening out uh, yeah. until the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So actually when I see a pose I always must be able to get a square over it. Yeah, or like know, an X. Or an X, yeah. you know, and not an Y. Yeah. So yeah. Need, be sure that and that uh, was why I wanted to see the front double biceps once again. Because in the first one, too close. you were standing too close. Yeah. You need to stand a little bit wider. And you could, could also use, try to use your knee angle uh -huh. in the standing foot. Because yeah. with the knee angle, you can get it wider. You get wider. Yeah. But you need to keep the details. Yeah. And the problem is, if you, when you rotate the knee too much out, you're totally flat. Yeah, that's flat. So you want this to show exactly. still. Exactly. We flat. need the balance yeah. of showing that, that, and get the adductor. Yeah. So, so yeah. when you turn it too much to the side, you, you have that flat area yeah. here which looks not good. No, you know? no, no. Yes. That's the way to do it. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So really playing around with the legs and yeah, you need to, 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 to get more. So if Malin, for example, is, is going to make a picture, oh, yeah. you need to be sure that you could square it out. You know, yeah. there should be when we quarter that square, there should be a part of the body in balance in yeah. every quarter of it. Yeah. So Exactly, otherwise you are missing out. Yeah. And that's what the, 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 the judge sees as the, f the first impression the judge gets is not the muscle quality, it's not, it's a little bit the size, but it's also the balance. Yeah. And a lot of the balance you influence with your posing. So if you're not filling all that gaps in the square, yeah. you're missing out at the point. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the point. There is a funny thing, if you, if you take pictures of all the great champs and just make it to a shadow picture, yeah. so you are just uh, coloring everything where the body is black, mm -hmm. you will actually immediately see why he is a champion and not the other one. Yeah. Because the shape is that what, what pleases our eyes, yeah, you know? Right. And that's very often the difference between winning and not winning. Yeah. The balance, how it, everything is put together, but also how everything is presented uh, to the judges, okay? Yep. And 
that's also something that you care about that side. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a few Olympia shots yeah. where that shoulder is too high, 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 high. Yeah. and not rotated totally back. And yeah. then it looks that the left here is missing. Yeah. So you need to be sure that the, the, the hay of the shoulders is exactly on the same and the, the rotation also, yeah. of the arm is also the same because yeah. otherwise you have here the fullness and here it's missing yeah. but there is no difference in no. muscle because when you're standing relaxed everything is, 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 is totally so the same yeah. but sometimes it's a little bit when I show the extreme yeah. like that I think um, it's because the neck on this side is tighter. Because, yeah, because when I stretch it here, I feel way more, I feel the tension, and on this side a lot less. So I th I'm gonna work on yeah, just loosening everything up. Actually pointed a uh, deep tissue massage for later today as well to make sure everything is uh, but that's Absolutely. something you really have to think, think actively on yeah. when you are on stage yeah. that that problem doesn't um, doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. True. Wo stehen wir? Ja gut. Also so wie vorher schon vermutet und angekündigt aufgrund der Formchecks. Ähm, Beine haben wieder einen kleinen Schritt nach vorne gemacht, von vorne und von hinten. Es ist wieder mehr Density drinnen, das heißt, das Ganze wird Spaß machen. What about you, Wesley? Are you happy and satisfied with the condition and uh, everything right now, round about three weeks out? Yeah, I think um, compared to the other preps, the condition and the fullness um, balance is better than before. And um, there's still a lot of changes that can be made to make the sharpness better. So I think we can still pull a lot of tools out of the toolbox to make that happen. But uh, yeah, I feel good about it. And uh, usually the last few weeks, a lot of changes in the physique can still be visually made. So yeah, but I also think, you know, it's all classic. So it's also a lot about shape which is why it's so important and Stefan gives those pointers to me to make presentation perfect because sometimes you hammer so much on how your physique looks like standing there but the presentation of your physique is matters just as much so that's also something I'm going to keep hammering on every single day until we are on stage in Ohio. <laughs>